Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's been a great day of following up on the lamp onionectomy patients. Two of my patients are about a year out uh, from the lamp onionectomy. Uh, one's a darker skinned female, another one's a lighter skinned female getting it done. You can hardly tell they had the onionectomy done, so it's a uh, been very rewarding uh, doing the onionectomy for patients. And um, scars are minimal, and the uh, pain is very minimal, and patients are really surprised that the uh, correction that they get from this bunionectomy. So um, enjoy the videos of these two life, real life testimonials from uh, today, August 18th, 2017. Thank you. This is a radiographic review of a 75 year old Caucasian female with uh, severe bunion, as you can see, is sticking out the side of her foot. While she came in for follow up, the uh, this time uh, close to a year out. So again, it's been a great day of follow-ups today of the lamb bunionectomy. We're gonna go through the post-op film. Boom. Um, you can see that uh, the bunion is reduced. The, um, the skin line is uh, pretty much well aligned on that side of the foot. She's ready to get her left foot done. This is her right foot. Again, we're gonna look at the pre-op. Sticking out there, it's way out there. Post op, yes. Again, she's 75 years old. Uh, most likely, the old fashioned Keller uh, procedure would probably be chosen for her because typically, a open procedure would be very difficult for this patient to heal. If you look at her bone stock, her bone stock is not very good. So, by textbook, old fashioned textbook, uh, it would be a what we call it Keller where we just go ahead and take out the base of the bone right here and put in two wires postoperatively instead of doing a cut right here. But because we do minimally invasive method, we don't do a lot of soft tissue dissection and the scar is very minimal, soft tissue and blood vessels and nerves are all intact. We're able to get away with uh, doing this bunionectomy, a cut that we normally probably would not do if we did an open procedure just because of a potential vascular neuro and nerve compromise. So you can see there was also a cut over here too for the Aiken um, part of it because she, as you can see, she has a she had a very complex crossover deformity on that uh, right foot. So here you go, a great day of follow-ups again. Thank you. This is uh, Stasford's bunionectomy. How long ago did I do your bunion? A year ago, April. A year ago. Look at the repair. Look at the. Look at the remodeling of that bone right here. You see that? that she had a lateral cortex that kept intact here and it filled in with bone. Intermetatarsal angle is normal, says mortar in position, and the toe is nice and straight. Unfortunately, she came back with a toe fracture. But <laughs> the good thing is her bunion is not bothering anymore. No. She, as long as she stops injuring herself, she'll be in good shape. But if she does, what else is new? She knows where to find us. But it's look at that bunion it's clinically. I know, it's straight. How do you like it? I do. Yeah. Do people ask you about your bunion oh, people, I recommend you to everybody. Well, thank you, my dear. This people is... from Connecticut that I know, they're, they're coming now. Awesome. Look at that. There's no scar. You can't tell. No. Those, those are Everybody's your extras. Everybody's amazed because there's no scar. Yeah, people can't tell, right? I know. I you forget. had one time. Where's the scar? I know. <laughs> you told me you had the minimally invasive one, right? Yeah. They don't yeah. believe me. Yeah, that x-ray is very telling. It's great. Yeah. You happy with it? Oh, I am, yeah. Can you move your toe so. for me? Uh, move it. Up and down. Up and down. And Yeah, nice. Perfect range of motion. A little t stiff because of the broken thing, but... Yeah, you broke it. You broke it up here. You uh, broke it up here. The bunionectomy was here. Yeah. So, good thing is, after you the bunionectomy, this bone is actually stronger than your regular bone. Oh, really? Yeah, but not up, not up here, though, where you, where you injured it again. Why but, do I keep injuring it? That's a different story. Yeah. So how was your how was your recovery? Um, the recovery was was pretty good. I mean, I didn't. It was fine. I tried to stay off of it as much as possible. I worked in an office job. Okay, good. It wasn't bad at all. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, now you said the pain after surgery was even better than the pain before surgery because oh, you, yeah. you had pain before surgery. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Good. So you happy you had it done then? Absolutely. I know you came over from. <laughs> Should have got it done years ago. Yeah, I know you came all over Fort Lauderdale to see us, was, but the recovery and, uh, and the follow-up wasn't too bad for you, right? Not at all. Excellent. Well worth it. Fort Lauderdale is only uh, two, two hours away from us. Yeah. So, well, excellent. I'm glad you're doing so well. Back to life. I'll see you back in a year for follow-up x-ray, okay? Yep. Well, thank you. Stats post-bunionectomy. Uh, so you can see 
This is the line bunion anatomy with very minimal incision. This is the double cut technique, uh, one cut here and one cut here. So the head is rotated out to get the joint in alignment as well as cutting this small bone right here straight now because she actually has a deformity in this bone right here too. So decided to do both cuts at the same time. Now we're going to fast forward and go on to her foot. Bam, it looks really good. So there's a scar uh, on the side of the foot. For patients with darker skin that may keloid, this is an excellent procedure for it because you can see, even if it does keloid, which she does not, um, is very minimal if there is any. So that's the incision where the cut was made for the first cut. The second cut was made underneath there and that's the insertion point of the pin. So this is about six months afterwards. Six months, yeah. And here we are following up for six months. No bump, no lump on the side. Can you move your toe up and down for me, please? That is beautiful. There's no stiffness that we can know, and she has no pain that she reported. Am I correct? Absolutely. Correct. Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to take a look at this. This looks good. Again, the incision, first incision, second incision, and that's the wire. Uh, range of motion. We're going to take the bend that toe back, down, and back up. Good. That's enough for a regular range of motion. Any pain when I do this? Nope. Beautiful, nice. Okay, this is Dr. Kevin Lam. Uh, here is a post-op uh, Peabody bunionectomy or Lam minimally invasive bunionectomy. Today's date is 724 2017. Surgery was done in February of uh, 2017. Uh, we're gonna fast forward into the patient's foot. I always have to remind myself where we did the surgery, but um, somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the patient's foot. How do you like it? Perfect. How was the recovery? Excellent. No problem at all. Would you recommend it to other people that have a bunion? I absolutely already have. Excellent. So this is your foot. Mm -hmm. This is after the lamb minimally invasive bunionectomy. The move motion is awesome. How do you like that? Absolutely perfect. Awesome, sir. You never know anything was done. I know. I would have to remind myself whenever I see my patient post-op. So, very good. Very good. Can you move that toe up and down by yourself instead of me doing it? Full range of motion. Everything's Ex cool. Excellent. How long did the swelling last? Well, it's still a little bit swollen now. Mine. But um, I was able to get my shoe on. I've been able to put a shoe on for, oh, probably two months. It was pretty quick. Yeah. So perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you for the referral. I'm glad you're doing well. And, you know, we get a lot of ladies with their bunions getting their bunionectomy done. The guys, it's good to see a guy's perspective. <laughs> so, awesome. Thank you. Again, this is Dr. Lamb with uh, the Lamb Minimally Invasive Bunionectomy. Another success story, as always. Stats post bunionectomy. Uh, as you can see, this is a Lamb Bunionectomy with very minimal incision. This is the double cut technique. Uh, one cut here and one cut here. So the head is rotated out to get the joint in alignment as well as cutting this small bone right here straight now because she actually has a deformity in this bone right here too. So decided to do both cuts at the same time. Now we're going to fast forward and go on to her foot. Bam, it looks really good. So there's a scar uh, on the side of the foot. For patients with darker skin that may keloid, this is an excellent procedure for it because you can see even if it does keloid, which she does not, um, is very minimal if there is any. So that's the incision where the cut was made for the first cut. The second cut was made underneath there and that's the insertion point of the pin. So this is about six months afterwards. Six months, yeah. And here we are following up for six months. No bump, no lump on the side. Can you move your toe up and down for me, please? That is beautiful. There's no stiffness that we can know, and she has no pain that she reported. Am I correct? Absolutely. Correct. Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to take a look at this. This looks good. Again, the incision, first incision, second incision, and that's the wire. Uh, range of motion. We're going to take the bend that toe back, down, and back up. Good. Mm -hmm. That's enough for a regular range of motion. Any pain when I do this? Nope. Beautiful. Nice. So how was your how was your recovery? Um, the recovery was was pretty good. I mean, I didn't. It was fine. I tried to stay off of it as much as possible. I work in an office job. Okay, good. It wasn't bad at all. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, now you said the pain after surgery was even better than the pain before surgery because oh, you, yeah. you had pain before surgery. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Good. So you happy you had it done then? Absolutely. I know you came over from. <laughs> Should have got it done years ago. Yeah, I know you came on Fort Lauderdale. See us was, but the recovery and uh, and the follow up wasn't too bad for you, right? Not at all. Excellent. Well worth it.
Fort Lauderdale is only uh, two two hours away from us. Yeah. So, well, excellent. I'm glad you're doing so well. Back to life. I'll see you back in a year for a follow-up X-ray. Okay. Yep. Well, thank you. Oh hi. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, review of those uh, three cases that uh, I presented to you today. Um, you get to see the real life uh, result of the minimally invasive lamp onionectomy. Great day to see our patients and see them uh, smiling to be able to help them with the minimally invasive lamp onionectomy. Decreases complications, increased patient happiness, decrease in pain. Visit www.scarlessbunion.com or www.naplespodiatrist.com. Look forward to hearing from you in Naples, Florida.